The real secret behind getting and maintaining a 4.0 GPA can be summarized in one sentence. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. The truth most of us don't want to hear is that straight A's takes work. But the students that see that work for what it truly is are inevitably those that master the academic game. Baking the perfect pie requires a recipe, so why should getting the perfect score be any different? In today's video, I would like to share with you my recipe for academic success in the hopes that it will help you succeed at school every single time. Step one, don't bite off more than you can chew. If you haven't read the Book, the seven habits of highly effective people I suggest you at least check it out in the descriptions below in my opinion the key takeaway of this book is to begin with the end in mind what makes you happy what would make you want to wake up every single day and give your absolute best what is that dream title you would love to see on your badge if you want to become a psychologist Make that your end goal and then work backwards. What degrees, courses, experience, skills, and connections would you need to have in order to become a psychologist? Once you've figured that out, it is time to divide and conquer, which is the main point of step one. How can you divide that to-do list in a way that will allow you to have the time and the energy required for you to ace every single item on that list. Let me give you an example. I made the fatal mistake of wanting to rush through my bachelor's degree and took a full course load every single semester. However, if you have five intense, very heavy courses all at once, you are going to spread yourself thin and inevitably make some nonos that will cost you that 4.0 GPA. Successful students don't bite off more than they can chew. They take three or four courses during the fall and then one or two during the summer just so they can afford to focus and absolutely destroy every single one of them. Step two. Bitter pills may have blessed effects. Another secret that you probably already know, but none of us really want to do it, and that is do the things nobody wants to do. Meaning going to all of your lectures, yes, even the 7.30 a.m. behavioral neuroscience one, doing your readings on time, reviewing your notes before class, and studying one to two hours each day. These are just a few examples of those little things that all of us dread, but successful students know that it is the accumulation of all those tiny efforts that produce the results you want. Step three, hunger is the best spice. Your motivation and willpower fluctuate during the semester. Sometimes you're really into it and sometimes you procrastinate like you want to set a new Guinness World Record. To stay hungry, to remind yourself of what you were fighting and working for, it is important to regularly schedule time to get inspired. And I mean weekly. Find out what fuels you and set up a way to trigger this motivation with the cue that you have control over. For example, if you are competitive by nature, find one of your friends that scored the highest mark on their last exams, doesn't even have to be in the same class as you, and try to beat them. If you are a sucker for beautiful aesthetics, schedule some time to watch a few study routines on YouTube or check out Pinterest for some study spo pictures to get your creative juices flowing. Step four, the proof is in the pudding. There are multiple studies that back up the finding that learners retain approximately 90% of what they learned when they implement it slash use it right away. In my opinion, the number one secret to straight A's is 
practice. Whatever you are studying at the moment, make sure you practice the material in some shape or form immediately after you learn it. An interesting concept I would like to introduce you to and that backs up this finding is the Ebbinghaus curve or the curve of forgetting, which demonstrates how quickly we forget information that we don't work with repeatedly. If you want to know more on this concept, I will link an article below that does a much better job than I would ever do in explaining how this whole thing works. You can't make an omelette without breaking the eggs. And finally, successful students know that getting straight A's all the time doesn't come for free. You need to come to terms with the fact that you will inevitably have to make sacrifices to get that 4.0 GPA. It can be saying no to a friend that invites you to a party the night before your final, or waking up an hour earlier than you're supposed to just to make sure you do your readings before going to class. This is a balancing act that never stops. You will always be faced with a choice. And if you don't have that end goal in mind, you will inevitably make a decision that will not benefit you in the long run. But don't worry, like I said in step three, this also can be perfected with practice. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. Bye guys!